Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a layered mandala of your pet in Vector Q that you can bring into Cricut Design Space. I just opened up Vector Q and I'm going to click the new drawing icon. Now I'm in a new drawing and I'm going to pull in a picture of my cat. I'm going to click on this little photo icon here and then I'm going to go to tool images, click the plus sign and I'm going to grab my kitty cat photo and then I'm going to click and drag however big that I want her. Now I want to dim the photo so that it'll be easier to trace over. So I'm going to click the FX button over here in the layers panel and I'm going to bring down the opacity. Then I want to click the little lock icon here and lock the layer and this way we can't move it around. Now I'm going to create a new layer and this is where we'll do our first drawing. And this is going to be the simplest drawing and then we'll get more and more complicated. And this is also going to be the top layer of our mandala. I'm going to click on the name of the layer and I'm going to name it layer one. And then I want to pick what color I want to use. You can either do like fun colors like pink and blue or you can do more realistic colors. I think I'll do more realistic ones for this. So I'm going to grab my brush tool and I have it on the little pencil setting here. So if I draw with it, it's all going to be one thickness. And I think this thickness is good. I'm going to go to the appearance and I'll change the color now. I'm going to click this little color swatches icon so that I can find some color swatches that are probably good. So my cat is brown and black and white. This has a good brown in it. So I'll click it and do add colors and maybe some of these. Now I'm going to pick my first color. I think maybe I'll do like a medium brown, but I can always change it later if I change my mind. So I'm on layer one and I'm just going to draw and look, it's blue. So for the color, I accidentally did the stroke instead of the fill. So the stroke, let's set it to none and we're going to go to fill and that's where we're going to pick the color that we want. And then I'm going to collapse all these, make sure this works how I want it to. And now I'm just going to trace around my kitty cat. So this is going to be just the very basic outline of her. And when I get around the furry parts, I kind of like to make like little angled parts like that so it kind of looks like the fur. This might be a little too thick, so I'm going to grab my select tool and grab it and go to this stroke tool right here. And then I can actually bring it down a little bit. I think maybe, what if I just do four? That's a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to my brush tool now, and then I'm going to set this to 4. If you want to edit any of these lines, you can grab your node select tool, click on a line, and then just move the anchor point. And then go back to the brush to continue. For the eyes, I just traced around the outside of the eye, and then I'm going to do the pupil. And then one of the other layers underneath can fill in the color. There's my initial outline of my kitty. Now we're going to convert it from lines to shapes. So now I'm going to grab my select tool and I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go to actions, edit paths, outline stroke. And now you can see that it's all shapes because it has the blue line around everything but the shapes are overlapping so we need to combine it into one shape so we're going to go to edit object combine and now you can see that it's all one shape now that we have that done let's go to our layers panel and we want to duplicate this layer because every layer is going to be a duplicate of the one above it and then it will get added to. So we're gonna take this layer and we're going to go up here and click the duplicate button. 
and we're going to be working on the layer underneath it. So the layer on top, layer one, that's the one that's going to be the top layer and we're just going to lock it. And then this second layer is the one that we're going to add to. So let's double click on that and we're going to name it layer two. And then we want to change the color. So let's hide the layer above it so that we can pick a different color for this one. And for this one, I think I'll do like a dark brown and then I can kind of fill in some of these darker brown spots. So let's make sure everything is selected. And now we pick our dark brown. So if we hide and show, that's the difference. So that's pretty good. So let's keep the top layer shown so we can see what it's gonna look like and make sure layer two is selected. We're going to collapse the appearance and let's go to brush and just test out our brush and it is drawing darker so that's good. So now we can collapse the layers and let's go ahead and draw our second layer. By the way, I do just want to mention that there are a couple different styles that you can do for the mandala. One is where you would do more of a decorative style. So you would do like kind of like this. And then the other style is where you would do more like kind of realistic, not really realistic because it's a mandala, but like you're drawing in the fur. I'm going to go with the one where you're drawing in the fur. If you want to see how to do like a more decorative style, my other mandala tutorial might help with that. So anyways, now that I have my darker color, I'm going to draw in some of her little pads on her feet and some of her darker features like this little part here. And then we can just add in some more little fur marks here. And we can also fill in some of this too. So actually, since this is such a small area, maybe I would wanna just fill it in. And then over here, we can fill in like just a half of it. But it is up to you how many layers that you wanna do. You could do a bunch of layers for this one, I think we'll probably only do like four layers just to keep it simple since it's a tutorial. And here's where I'm just filling in some more of the fur. So you just wanna go in like the same direction as the fur is going and do these kind of little pointy things. And that's just gonna make it look like little tufts of fur kind of, or like little sections of fur. And then you can also fill some in if you want. And let's just fill in some of this fur here. And you do want it to connect as much as possible to the rest of the shape because that's just gonna make it easier to put together later. If you have all separate pieces, it's just gonna be impossible, like a puzzle. And if you find a part that you wanna get rid of, like I think I wanna redo this part here, then you can just grab the select tool and just click on it and then click this little delete button here. And then go back to the brush to continue drawing. Now we can get a different color and I think I might go a little lighter for this one so that way we can do some of the belly and not make it too dark. But first, of course, we have to take care of this layer. So we want to grab the select tool, select everything. And of course, you want to make sure the other two are locked. We're going to go to actions, edit paths, outline stroke. So now they're all shapes. And then we're going to go to edit, combine. And we do have some of these little holes in here. You can either color over them with the brush and then go through the whole process again, outline stroke and all that, or you can just grab your node select tool and select a node and delete it. And you definitely wanna make sure you get rid of these because otherwise the Cricut will make a little cut right there. Now that we have this layer all done, we can duplicate it. So with this layer selected, we're gonna to go to duplicate and the new layer is gonna be underneath it. So let's lock the one on top and then for the one underneath it double click and name it layer three so for this one i want to do maybe like a lighter tan so that i can do some more details in the belly so let's go to appearance and i'll pick this light color and then let's go to the layers and we want to select everything on this layer 
and change it to that light color. So let's make sure it worked. Let's turn off the ones above. All right, and that's good. So now on layer three, if we grab our brush, then that's the right color. So we can start drawing. And since this is the lighter color, I think I'll color inside her eyes with it also. I can do inside the ears. And I'm gonna add some more of these little fur lines here. Another thing you can do is make kind of like a shadow or like an outline to some of the lines that are already there. Just go right along the edge and that gives kind of a neat look also. Now I'm done with my lighter color. I can grab my select tool and I'm gonna select everything. And I can also hide the two layers above so I can see what I'm doing. And with all of this, I just want to go to Actions, Edit Paths, Outline Stroke. So now it's all shapes. And then I'll go to Edit, Combine. And now you can see that it's all combined. And again, I may have some little spots that I have to fix up here. So I'll just go in with my Node Select tool and get rid of those. And now I'll switch back to my select tool. I'm going to go over to this layer here and duplicate. And then I'm going to lock the one on top and I can hide it too. And then with the one on the bottom, I'm going to rename it to layer four. And now this one, I want to do all my darker colors, my black so I can fill in these extra spots where she has black fur on this layer four which I have it all selected. I'm going to go to Appearance and Fill, and then I'm gonna make it black. Now I can take my brush, make sure that draws black, and then I can go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna make the size of my brush a little bit bigger so that I can just color this in easier. And then I can switch back to a smaller size to fill in the little parts near the edges. Now I'm also going to turn on the rest of the layers and I can take the black and do some other stuff like it might be really cool if she's outlined in black. So I can do that. This is actually a really fun and relaxing project to work on so I think that if you could like have an Etsy shop where you make these and sell them I just think it would be a really nice thing to do. You would have a very relaxing job. Now I'm done with my black layer, so I'm going to grab my select tool, select everything, and then I can hide these ones. And now that I have everything selected, I'm going to go to Actions, Edit Paths, Outline Stroke, and now I'll go to Edit, Combine. So now that's all combined, and again we can fill in these empty spots. And if you are on an edge where you can actually pull into your shape and create a box around the nodes, then you can do that and delete it. The only catch is that like you can't do it somewhere where there are other nodes in the way because if you grab some of the other nodes, then you're going to delete those and you don't want to delete the ones on the ends that you need. So if you're able to select it like that, then you can delete it and then that way you can delete a whole group of those nodes, which is really nice. Now we can do our last layer, which is going to be the white layer. So I'm going to go to layers. I have this layer here, layer four, which is selected. So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to lock the one above and hide it too. And then for the one below, I'm going to double click it and name it layer five. And now this one, I want it to be white. So I'm going to grab my select tool and I have everything selected and I'm gonna make the fill white. Here's the easy part, is that we can just make this whole thing a silhouette. So to do that, we're gonna to go to Actions, Edit Paths, Break Apart. So now all of the holes have become their own shape. So we just have all shapes here. And then we can go up to Edit and Combine. And now there's our silhouette. So now if we go to the Layers panel, we can show all the other ones. Now we can grab our photo layer and delete it. 
and now we just have all of our pieces of paper. And if you want to go in here and add more details, then you totally can. So I would maybe add more with like this dark brown here. So you could just go find the layer, unlock it, and then just grab your brush and make sure that you have the right color. So that was this color. So then I could go through and add some more details if I want. And with this one, you have to remember it is above the lighter color. The next step, you have to make sure every other layer is locked. And then we're going to grab everything, actions, edit paths, outline stroke, edit, combine. So once you get the hang of it, it'll be really quick and easy. And then you can just add any other details that you want. Now all my layers are done and I can export it as an SVG. You do need the paid version of VectorQ, but it only costs $5.99, so that's a super good deal for such a good program. To export this for Cricut, we're going to go to Share, pick SVG, Open In, and Save to Files. And then name it whatever you want to name it. Now we can open up Cricut Design Space. I'm in a new document here in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to click on Upload, Browse Files, find my kitty cat, give it a name, and here's our file. If I go to the Layers panel, we have all these different pieces here, and we can turn some of them off so we can see all our different pieces. That's it. I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you do make a mandala of your pet or someone else's pet, I would love to see it. So email me at heather at heathercash.com and you can also leave a comment. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. And if you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know that in the comments or of course you can always email me for that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!